So we have a great opportunity this week in Grand Theft Auto to be ranking up by far. This is going to be almost the equivalent of eating peyote plants. So we've got Simeon missions this week that are dishing out quad the amount of RP. So that's four times the amount of normal RP. But we're going to go ahead and go into a creator mode real quick. And we're going to go to the settings and we're going to switch it to free aim. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm going after the bonus RP that we get for being in free aim. So if you did not know this, you get about a 25 or 30 percent bonus across the board for basically whatever you do in the game and that's going to give you an extra amount of bonus rp if you did not know that so we're just going to head back into an invite only session real quick so we can go ahead and start up the mission that we're going to be doing which we're going to be taking advantage of a repo deluxe mission here once again these missions are dishing out twice amount the normal amount of money we're not worried about the money because there's going to be better ways of making money this week but the rp right here is going to be by by far the best job and this is gonna be the best method here and once again I'm in free aim because I'm not gonna be getting out of my car or anything like that now the car that I am gonna be using is the Torador you want a vehicle that you could be using that has infinite missile spam basically so maybe a vigilante if you can get one of those in this mission you know and using something like a mark II oppressor that's not gonna be good because the mark II oppressor only has something like 20 missiles in it and the missiles have been nerfed where they don't really necessarily hit their target so so once we load in here we are putting this on hard mode of course I don't need to grab any armor don't need to grab any bullets because we're not gonna be using armor necessarily in or bullets for this we're just gonna be using a Torador now the Torador is by far once again is gonna be the best vehicle that you could be using for this it's got rocket boost and it's got the thing that we need is the infinite missiles so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop open my phone here we're gonna call up the mechanic and then I'm gonna go ahead and request the Torador now, once we go ahead and pop on the map, we do have to head out to this location. A little bit of travel time, but once we get out there, uh, we will not have to go ahead and repeat the process there of actually traveling out there because I'm going to be showing you how to rinse and repeat this as well to where we can actually skip all this travel time right here. So we're going to have to go ahead and head on out to Sandy Shores real quick. Shouldn't take me long because we got a jet boosted vehicle. All right, now once you get out here, do not start spamming missiles. This is what you guys are going to need to do. Just take your vehicle and we're going to drive it around to the back of this building here. So right back here, I'm going to take another right. Now notice how I'm going to park my vehicle, which is going to be right over here towards the end of this red crate. It's because that's where we're going to be hopping the fence and getting back into the vehicle. All right, so bust out like a shotgun or something like that. There's going to be a dude welding right here. You're going to need to shoot this dude. Bam, there you go. 125 RP every single kill. So just jump into the vehicle and then jump right back out. That's all you have to do. We're not taking that vehicle at all. And then we're just going to head back here to the back of the fence, jump the fence, and then get in my Torador. So from here, we're going to need to head to Sandy Shores Airport, which is right in front of me. Just a hop, skip, jump, and crawl away. So where we're heading for is actually right up to the left of me is over there at the end of the airport there so i'm just right at the end and all you guys have to do is sit here and spam missiles now for each vehicle has two npcs in it and since we are in free uh, free aim that's going to give me the bonus so actually every single vehicle that i blow up here with the two npc enemies is giving me 250 rp so if I kill four of these guys, you can just do the math on that. That's a thousand RP right there. And they just continuously keep spawning in. I did fast forward to this, as you can see. And if you want the vehicles to like despawn in front of you, just do a quick 360. But don't stop spamming missiles. All you have to do is literally sit here and spam missiles until you're not getting any more RP. When you're not getting any more RP, simply hop out of your vehicle and take the easy way out a couple times. And then once we go ahead and fail this, this is another thing right here that we want to be doing because this is going to be giving us also bonus RP. There it is right there. Almost 5,000 RP for failing and just sitting there. Now, here comes the rinse and the repeat method to where we could sit in here all day long, all night, and just do this to where if we were a low-level character, potentially, we definitely want to be leveling up because it's very important to get at least past 120. All right, so once again, we have respawned in here. We're still in the mission, and then I'm going to do the rinse and repeat, you know, spot right here. So we're just going to take the vehicle once again, and we're going to drive it around the back, just like this. 
So this is the rinse and repeat part where this is all we have to do. So we cut out that travel time to the, from the city. We no longer have to travel from the city all the way out to Sandy Shores, which can be a little bit annoying. All right, so from right here, once again, we're going to hop up here, shoot the dude that's welding. Bam, there you go. We're going to jump in this vehicle. And as soon as we get in, let's hurry up and get out. And we're going to run to the back, jump up on the car, jump up over the fence, jump down. And then get in our vehicle and then we should just be able to boost right on over to the airport and then once again we want to be at the end of the airport so like a little bit off to the left if you hit this up you can see it's like more off to the left is where we want to be it's going to be the ideal spot because once again you could see me earlier with that fast play that i was just able to sit there and spam my missile button so like i'm not getting kicked for a like being afk or anything like that because once again we're using missiles and all you got to do is just jet back here and then check this out rinse and repeat mode so look at that rp every single truck i explode because of the extra 50 rp that we're getting because we're in free aim right here you can just continuously do this and by far this is going to be one of the best ways of ranking up this week in grand theft auto you should definitely be taking advantage of this if you're a low level character or if you're someone like me who's actually trying to get to level 1000 which it looks like i'm 907 so i should be able to get there before gta 6 if we got our fingers crossed on that one so once again this is going to be the best method for ranking up this week in grand theft auto by taking advantage of not just the free aim bonus rp but also the four times rp in this simeon job once again this is are we nearly there so anyways from there if you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful be sure to hit that like button subscribe for new content so you do not miss out on daily grand theft auto 5 online videos until gta 6 hits here right guys but from there thank you all for watching and supporting the channel my name is gravesite and i'm a green alien and i'll see you in the next one so peace